Emergency drugs are those chemical entities which are used in life-threatening conditions so that the symptoms can be controlled and lives can be saved. They are usually available in those kind of dosage forms which have short onset of action for rapid effect. Let us go through these one by one. The first drug is adenosine injection. Adenosine is an antiarrhythmic drug with negative chrono, dromo and inotropic activity. Adenosine is used in second and third degree blocks and to revert supraventricular tachycardia. Dosage is 6 mg to 12 mg via rapid bolus. Adrenaline or epinephrine is a directly acting sympathomimetic drug interacting with both alpha and beta receptors at low dose of 1 to 2 micrograms per kilograms per minutes, acts on beta receptors, but at a relatively higher dose, it acts on alpha causing vasoconstriction. Injecting adrenaline quickly improves breathing, stimulates the heart, increases blood pressure and reverses hives. It is also used with anesthetics to increase their duration of action. Acting on beta-1 receptors it saves lives during cardiac arrest and asystole. Dosage. For adults and children more than 30 kg administer 0.3 to 0.5 mg. Children less than 30 kg, 0.01 mg per kg. For information related to Ultiplus please watch our video on stroke. Amiodarin is an antiarrhythmic drug which is used to treat or prevent atrial and ventricular fibrillation, ventricular and wide complex tachycardia and PSVT. So how does amiodarin work? It prolongs action potential and inhibits adrenergic stimulation, slows rate and decreases peripheral vascular resistance causing vasodilation. 150 mg rapid dosage of amiodarin is administered over first 10 minutes. This is followed up by slowly providing 360 mg over next 6 hours. The next drug is aminophiline. It is a drug combination of theophylline and ethylenediamine in a ratio of 2 to 1. It inhibits phosphodiesterase and blocks adenosine receptors. Uses For acute <coughs> exacerbation of symptoms of reversible airflow associated with asthma and COPD. 5 to 7 mg per kilograms of aminophiline is usually given intravenously for over 20 minutes. Atropin sulfate is an anti-muscarinic drug also called as emcolino blocker. Indications are sinus bradycardia, asystole, and AV block. Pulseless electrical activity. And lastly an organophosphate poisoning. Bolus dose of 0.5 mg IV and a maximum dose of 3 mg or 0.04 mg per kilogram. Calcium gluconate. It is used to treat hypocalcemia, hyperkalemia and magnesium toxicity. It's also an antidote for calcium channel blockers poisoning. Dose for an adult is 1000 to 2000 mg every 6 hours. Derifilin is a combination of two bronchodilators, theophylline and edifilline. 150 to 300 or 600 mg is used to treat asthma, wheezing, chest congestion and COPD. Dexamethasin is a popular synthetic corticosteroid with anti-inflammatory property. It reduces inflammation and has multiple uses. WHO strongly recommends that dexamethasin can be given orally or intravenously for the treatment of patients with severe and critical COVID-19. Dosage. 4 to 20 mg of dexamethasin could be administered orally, IV or IM. Dextra's injection is indicated during hypoglycemia, unconsciousness due to an unknown etiology, non-traumatic seizures and a glucometer reading below 70 mg per deciliters. Diazepam. Diazepam is a long-acting benzodiazepam. It works by increasing seizure threshold, induces amnesia and sedation. It is used for sedation in intubated patients receiving a mechanical ventilation. It also causes induction of anesthesia and is used as an adjunct. Most commonly diazepam is used to treat anxiety, alcohol withdrawal and seizures. Issues with muscle control and coordination is the major side effect. Dosage of diazepam.
Diclofenac is a non-selective NSAID, which is a phenylacetic acid derivative. It inhibits cyclooxygenase, COX-1 and 2, which in turn inhibits prostaglandin synthesis. It is used in acute or long-term treatment of mild to moderate pain, including dysmenorrhea, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, and also post-operative inflammation from cataract extraction. Dosage. 75 mg in 3 mL ampoule for deep IM or IV infusion every 4 to 6 hours, but not to exceed 150 mg in 24 hours. Digoxin is an inotropic and antiarrhythmic drug. It is used to treat atrial fibrillation and congestive heart failure, but remember not to use it in ventricular fibrillation. Dosage. Rapid digitalization is done with a loading dose of 8 to 12 micrograms per kilograms. It generally provides a therapeutic effect with minimum risk of toxicity in most patients. The loading dose should be given in several fractions half the total given as first dose. Additional fractions of the total dose may be given at 6 to 8 hour intervals. Dibutamine is a sympathomimetic which is beta-1 agonist and an inotropic drug. It is myocardial stimulant and works by stimulation of adenal cyclus. Beta-1 increases cardiac output with minimal effect on systemic vascular resistance. Hence it increases myocardial oxygen consumption. It is used in inotropic support. Cardiac failure, open heart surgery and positive end expiratory pressure. Dosage. 2.5 to 10 micrograms per kilograms per minutes and continuous IV infusion due to its short half-life or T-half. Dopamine is a natural catecholamin and precursor of norepinephrine. It has actually a dose-dependent action. It acts on three receptors, delta-1, beta-1, and alpha-1. At low dose of 1 to 2 micrograms per kilograms per minute, acts on delta-1 causing vasodilation. Intermediate dose acts on beta-1 and higher dose of more than 10 acts on alpha-1. It is used in hemodynamic imbalance present in shock syndrome by hypovolemia. It is restored with plasma expanders and then with dopamine administration. MI, septicemia, trauma, acute renal failure, open heart surgery and cardiac failure. Please make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to watch the next part. Thanks for watching.